All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. So we're just gonna go to Hue slash Saturation and just mess around with, with it a bit until we get what we like. And I like this color. It makes the shadow or the glare pop out. And actually, let's go ahead and make this even lighter to where it's just barely noticeable, only to a nice little audience. And then now we just go ahead and add some more. We can merge these layers and then we go on blending, color overlay, a nice white, and then we just turn down the transparency, but we still can make it pop. And so now essentially what we've done is we've just created a UI using Photopea. And now a lot of you guys might be wondering, what about the text? What can I do for the text? All right, real quick, just to let y'all know, we have a uh, completely new website, as you can see here. So if you hit shop, we have all the categories. So if you go to user interface, as you can see, and uh, the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products. You have a search bar up here, and if you want to log in, sign up. But uh, yeah, with that being said, make sure to check our website at gfxcamera.com. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, Photopea has a very limited text selection. However, unlike Photoshop where there's a vast, vast different variety, I guarantee you guys will find the text you're looking for through these hundreds of fonts over here. If you don't, you can actually just download a font and then you press load font and you just click online or on there and you click whichever font you have, you click on the zip and it'll open up all of them. So you won't have to individually download them because I know that gets a bit annoying whenever you want like different variations of the same font. But for the case of this tutorial, we can just use day poster black. So let's say this is a shop UI. And we just increase the font size. Oops. You just go here, increase the font size. We can center it. If you hold down shift, and then you'll get these similar guidelines as you would get with Photoshop. And now I want to go ahead and drop it just below. And then I want to do blending options, color overlay. And this should be good. Maybe we can even add a little stroke on here just to separate it from the from the UI frame. And bang. For the sake of this tutorial, this should be fine. And with this, I could even lift it up up to here and that would not look bad at all just because we match the stroke color of both things with the hue slash saturation and this is gonna blend in perfectly just so it looks like a clean thing and I could also add a little background here but just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just gonna leave it as is and now uh, I'm gonna play around with gradients for you guys because that's still gonna be set a quite a big request so let's do the same exact thing let's just make another square and since we like the color of that we'll just take it to the top over the hue anything that's underneath the hue will change color so be aware of that and we're going to do gradient overlay so let's go ahead and change it to a red we'll do um a darker red on the bottom and then a lighter red on top could even toss in a little bit of a mixture. Once you add a little white streak in the middle, it just makes everything look a lot more out there. You don't always have to do that, but. Bam. And so now we'll go back to blending options. Just add a simple stroke on here. And since we have a gradient that's red, we don't want anything to be outside that. So we'll just select this, go down, and do this. And let me give you guys uh, an example of the drop shadow feature. So um, as you guys see, it looks like a shadow and we don't really want that. So what we can do is we can go on 90 degrees over here. This just makes sure it's directly on top. 
we can mess around with the distance and choose really. The spread is what we really want to get with. And then now, once we find the correct length and everything, we can do the drop shadow. Another way I'd recommend doing this is before you do the drop shadow, rasterize the layer. And so now what we have here is an even darker red. And then we turn up the opacity all the way. And so the reason I'm telling you guys to rasterize the layer before anything is just due to the fact that Oops, it looks like we've got a little blue stroke here. Okay, so let's go back and change that opacity again because you can kind of still see through. Um, drop shadow. And we can do this by going to normal. And then what we have here is an X button. And now let's add the X and really for white to be on the X is not that uncommon. And the only reason that is, is because it suits a lot of colors. It's much, much easier to match it. So as you guys see, I made white suit in with blue and now I'm gonna make it suit in with X. And we can just change the font size of this to be a bit smaller. merge down and then here we are now we have this and so now uh, a shop will obviously need some cutouts something something for the game passes the developer products um, for the sake of this I'll just add about three boxes and a good way of doing this is I'm just gonna put a random color lay over color overlay over it and I'm just gonna duplicate just to figure out my sizing so you always want to make sure the middle is always centered perfectly and once you do that you're able to find out where you want to position the other ones so as you see mine's a little too big and what we can do to combat that is select them all make sure they're about evenly spaced i'd recommend using your guidelines i just didn't do it um we can merge these layers now let's drop them down a bit just because it'll look nicer we want to fill up as much empty space as possible and now we're going to go to blending options and a good idea for this is just to use what you used for the basic drop shadow and here we go so essentially what you would do is you just put item name item name item name and we could even go one step further as to doing inner glows on this or even a drop shadow or okay, drop shadow inner shadow that's what I meant sorry about that and then we increase the distance increase the span and then we just stick with that simple black color just to make it pop out a bit and now what we have here is a 3d looking effect and so you can tweak with this, you can make it a bit more cartoony, but I just like the way it pops out. I just showed you guys pretty much the basic fundamental features, everything you really need to make a good looking UI. And for anything you can't, you don't have, you can just draw it out simply. The drawing tool on here is really easy to use. Curves are never a problem on here. A lot of you guys have trouble with uh, adjusting your curves on Photoshop. You won't really run into this issue with this program. And so now, um, that's really all you need to know as far as basics go on Photopea. I will be dropping some more tutorials on how to do certain things on Photopea because I know Photopea is a bit limited as far as the features go when you compare it to Photoshop and that's just the more advanced things. But all of you guys can get started, all of you people that want to do UI and just don't have any motivation to or don't have the resources to this is a free program all you do is photopia.com everything is secure and you guys don't really have to worry so if i want to export this i could export it as a png jpeg all this stuff like i would at photoshop or if you just like using photopia even just just due to the interface you just think it's much more simpler you could just save it as a psd and whenever you want to do the advanced stuff you could just load it up on photoshop and you would have the same layers same everything 
And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it as far as the Photopea tutorial goes. If you guys have any more recommendations, please put them down in the comments, and me and the GFX comment team will choose a few to make videos on. Other than that, guys, be sure to check out the link in the bio to purchase new UI assets made almost every week, and join the Discord server. We're growing strong. We thank you for 3,000 subscribers. Peace.